Welcome to my studio. Today I will demonstrate how to install and use the Mermaid JavaScript extension within Visual Studio Code on a desktop personal computer running the Microsoft Windows 10 operating system. This extension enables the rendering of text files into graphical diagrams. Step 1. Set up dedicated profile in Visual Studio Code. First, create a new folder on your local disk to store all data related to Mermaid diagrams. I've chosen for that purpose the same folder where I store all the data which I share with my GitHub account. Create Mermaid folder. I press in Total Commander F7. To create new folder, I enter the name Mermaid, press Enter. Navigate to that folder and copy its path to your clipboard. So I enter this folder, I press Ctrl P to bring its path to the command line. Now I press <coughs> right cursor uh, to mark it, Ctrl X to copy it into the clipboard. Now open Visual Studio Code. Create a new profile dedicated to Mermaid. Click the gear icon in the bottom left corner. Now from the menu choose Profile Default and from the next menu choose Profiles. Now click New Profile button and in the name field enter again the name Mermaid. The next step is not mandatory, select an icon for the mermaid diagrams, for example that one. Um, I leave the next drop down list not selected, but in the content area I take another not mandatory step, I choose the setting default keyboard shortcuts so I press default in this line and now click create button the view of this screen changes a bit we now see additional button add folder I press it and in the folder text field, now I press Ctrl V to copy here content of the clipboard. And I press Add Folder. Now, whenever you choose File, Open Folder in Visual Studio Code menu and specify that specific folder, the Mermaid profile will be applied automatically to it. OK, close the profile settings. Let's do it. Let's specify. Let's open the folder, newly created folder. So I specify the path to it. Now, Mermaid, select folder. And as you can see, the new profile was applied to that folder. Step 2. Install the Mermaid extensions in Visual Studio Code. So, uh, click the extension button in the search field, in the search field, enter the mermaid text string 
and from the extensive list of all available extensions choose and install Mermaid Markdown Syntax Highlighter so I press install button and now it's installed and enabled now choose and install the second extension which is markdown editor that that one so i again press the install button so now i press clear extension search results and in the branch of installed extensions i see just two of them mermaid editor and mermaid markdown syntax highlighter now the next step is not mandatory but recommended close the extensions tab and restart the visual studio code step three check the mermaid extension local rendering so i start code again visual studio code again okay the mermaid profile is already applied so now in the explorer part of visual studio code i create a new file first dot mermaid this time extension matters so it must be mermaid now open in your browser the web page mermaid.live mermaid.live i already navigated to available sample diagrams so I clicked into sample diagrams flow and here we have an example now copy one of the visible examples into clipboard so I press ctrl plus a to mark everything and ctrl plus c to copy the marked content into the clipboard now I switch into the Visual Studio Code active editor window and paste the content of the clipboard here by pressing Ctrl plus V. Now I close the Explorer sub window by pressing into the icon and also I close the minimap to the right to make more space on the screen to see now the rendered diagram I press this icon mermaid preview diagram and after a while new diagram is ready and visible Note additional options available under context menu. So after pressing the right mouse button, I see here the new available functions. Note also additional options available after pressing the sh keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus P. And now enter mermaid text string and you can get access to also additional functions that concludes this video thank you for your time and watching this now please give a thumb up to this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have found this video useful 
Thank you. Bye.